Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the top five things that programmers need to know. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hello everyone, my name is Eric Frick and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to talk about the top five things you need to know as a programmer. This list is based on my over 30 year IT career and I've worked as a programmer, a tech lead, a software architect, software development manager, and a senior IT executive. Now I work in the education side of the IT business. I've literally interviewed hundreds of programmers and hired them. And this list is based on my experience of not just interviewing them, but how well they do on the job. One thing I'll note on the list is I, I assume that, and I've left it off the list, that a detailed knowledge of a programming language is required for anybody as a programmer. So whether you know C Sharp or Java, JavaScript, Python, Perl, it doesn't really matter. I assume that you have that knowledge. These are the other things beyond the basic programming knowledge that I found that really make programmers successful. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list. Okay, coming in at number five is the ability to test and deliver a quality product. I really can't emphasize this enough that if you have to rework code, you put out code that's bad and then you have to rework it and continually do that, it can be very expensive and it can be frustrating for your customers. You may even lose business over it if the quality is bad enough. Also, it can cause major delays in the schedule. And so if, if you have to continually pause to rework and fix bugs, after each release, it can really be a drain on the staff and it will cause significant delays. And so miles, major milestones that the company is trying to meet, you won't be able to meet those. So that's number five. Let's go ahead and look at the next item on the list. Number four, the ability to deliver on time. The best programmers meet their deadlines without fail. They make them regularly. Everybody misses a deadline every now and then, but if you're missing them consistently, it can really wreak havoc on a software development project. Late code can de derail a project completely. If things get late enough, the entire project may be canceled and maybe the staff along with it. Many projects also have regulatory or legislative deadlines. These deadlines can't be changed or pushed, and so putting out code on a regular, routine basis and meeting deadlines is critical to a software organization, and the best programmers do what it takes to meet their deadlines. So coming in at number three is problem-solving skills. Systems are becoming more complex every day with tons of integration points, moving to the cloud, lots of some, some of them are hybrid systems with part of the system on-premise, part of it in the cloud, lots of integration points. And so all of, these, all of this complexity has even perpetuated the need and accelerated the need for really good problem-solving skills. A lot of times these systems that are highly distributed are very difficult to debug, and you need really unique problem-solving skills to fix these unanticipated issues. So coming in at number three, problem solving skills. Let's move on to the next one. Coming in at number two is debugging skills. This is critical to writing code. So being a master with development tools like Eclipse or Visual Studio or SQL Studio, whatever tool that you're using, the debugging environment for that and understanding how to effectively use that not just for troubleshooting production environments, but being able to walk through your own code as you're producing it to understand how it works and know that it's built on a solid basis. So being able to set things like breakpoints and being able to drill down into code and setting watch variables, all of these things so that when you're developing code that you know the nuances of your code and understand completely how it works. And to do that, really debugging is a critical skill. And it's not widely taught. There's not a lot of material out there on how to use debuggers. A lot of it you have to learn yourself and really just plow into it. And it's a very worthwhile skill. It will really set you apart from other developers when you truly know how to debug something. So let's go ahead and look at the number one issue. So the number one most important skill for a programmer is communication skills. Software development is a team sport. You rarely are working completely on your own. You're interfacing with other programmers, maybe business analysts, certainly maybe a developer, a scrum master. All of these things really require good communication. And the really good programmers are fantastic communicators and they're able to express complex ideas to management and non-technical staff in terms that they can understand. So that's a very important skill. And also really good programmers can help junior programmers to understand other concepts, but they can explain it in a way that they can understand. So 
Good communication is critical for success. You're not just writing code. You're going to probably have to write weekly reports. You're going to have to maybe write incident reports on bugs or problems with systems. And all of these things require excellent communication skills. So this may be a surprise. I'm sure everybody was expecting something deep in the way of uh, some kind of magic programming trick, but really communication is critical in a software development team. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. In summary, we've looked at my top five list for programmers. I've suffered the consequences of working with people who couldn't do those things, who couldn't communicate well or debug code or fix problems, and uh, usually got the blame for it. So that's really a list that I've put together based on my experiences. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Well, that's really it for this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.